Hey planet Earth! Tis the season, motherfuckers. You guys know what it means when I whip this little thing out. It means I'm back with another haul. Yes, indeed. A spooky haul, because I'm a spooky bitch. A Halloween-inspired haul from Shein. I don't know why I keep pointing. I did my nails, and so I just naturally am like, but seriously though, look at these. How freaking cute are these? And they glow in the dark. Yeah, they glow in the dark. Weird flex, but okay. My packages from Shannon. I hear bells. I'm slightly concerned because what the fuck did I order that has bells? I was feeling very in the season of the witch when I ordered these things on Shein. I love the Halloween stuff that they have on Shein like year round. It's not really out of the ordinary for me to have a bunch of Halloween gothic shit in my cart at any given time. But there were some things that were particularly fitting for the season and for this month of October. So I was like, you know what? No more abandonment issues. It's time to put it in the cart and click check out, bitch. So I'm gonna start with the smaller package. We have this one here. I kind of remember some things that I ordered and I've been really excited about it, but I don't remember everything. There's a little bit of like an element of surprise to it, which we always love. I'm gonna try not to injure myself with this shank. I'm so excited. What is this? Okay. Ah, would you look at that? An extra 15% off all of your orders. I got you guys. If you want an extra 15% off of your Shein orders, there is a code right here on this little pamphlet. And I will also drop that code in my description box below so that you guys can get an extra 15% off all of your orders. This is not sponsored and I don't work with Shein, but this is a coupon and I'm trying to help you guys out. So if you want to save some coin, some spooky coin, then go ahead and use code TSX15 on your next order for 15% off. My lord, this bag is absolutely gaping. How very dare you. It's just one thing in here? Oh, I remember. I remember. I remember. I'm actually really excited about this sweater because I don't have anything like this. I'm in my queen era where I'm just gonna do whatever the fuck I want. And I'm gonna buy whatever the fuck I want. And so this was one of those things. I think this is so cute and I'm so excited. It's the perfect time of the year for sweaters like this. Look at it! Freddy is Ooh. absolutely screaming right now. He's been sent and he's squawking. Cropped orange and black sweater. It is knitted. Even on the knit itself of the sweater, they did these designs where it looks like there's holes and distressing in the sweater. It has this really big, thick turtleneck, but you actually can wear it multiple ways. So the way that it is shown on the model picture is it's actually brought down around the model's shoulders. So this is supposed to kind of like come down like this. And then the sleeves, the sleeves did it for me. The sleeves are so big. Would you look at that? Just look at it. It's a really thick, chunky sleeve at the bottom, and I love that. It's also cropped, so this sweater is just gonna fit me literally exactly like a dream. It's gonna be cropped, so it's not super long. It's not gonna swallow me. I can wear it with skirts or dresses or pants. My whole figure won't be completely lost in it. It's got a really thick, loose, chunky neck, which I really like. I like that kind of comfort, especially when it's cold. And then it's got really long, really big sleeves. I just want to drown myself in them. All right, let's try it on and see how it fits. Okay, here's the sweater. It looks really cute. I have not yet figured out how to make like this weird neck thing work. It's kind of just really awkward and loose. And right now I just feel like I'm hanging out in a foreskin. But overall, I think that it's cute even with just like a kind of awkward looking neck. I think I'm gonna like it better up instead of down pulled over the shoulder how it was shown in the listing photo. It fits really good. It's like cropped at the perfect length. Right now I'm just wearing the skirt I was wearing today, but if you had some high-waisted jeans on and you had like a cute belt or if you had a cute skirt on then you'd be able to showcase that and then I really like the sleeves look at the sleeves ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling. I like that there's so much <laughs> I like that there's so much room in the sleeves and they're just really baggy. It feels like sweater weather. Insert me into the sweater weather music video. Are you guys messing with this hair today or what? I honestly don't know. I feel like I kind of look like a pineapple. A neon highlighter pineapple. That might be my brand, honestly. I remember 
sure now that that is why I had to get two separate packages because I actually was trying to buy that sweater at the same time I bought this order but for some reason it didn't get added to my cart so I checked out without it and then I had to go back for Ohana means family. Here's the rest of my order and like I said there's balls I mean bells. I already have a set of balls in my life I don't need any more thank you. It's it, there's there's some sort of bells in here I don't remember what on God's green earth that I would have ordered that has bells in it. I'm just like a little bit, have I gone rogue? Was I just aimlessly, mindlessly swiping? Because that's, that could have been it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Baby girl is absolutely plump and she is filled. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the first thing. Oh yes, I do recall. The first thing that I got are these super cute pair of tights. These are supposed to look like spider webs and I thought that was perfect for Halloween. I have a lot of black tights, but none that look like spider webs. So these are super cute. The next item in the Shein sack is... Oh! <laughs> this is a cute skirt, a really cute skirt. It's very witchy. Very printed, ooh. She is not the material I thought she was gonna be. I thought this was gonna be more of like a cotton, thicker type of material. This, this almost feels like a reusable shopping tote. High-waisted, of course, very short though, so. Ooh. The higher you hike that thing up when it's high-waisted, the shorter it gets. And I don't want my ass out. My ass cheeks will be out. It says magic. There's some tarot cards. A coffin with the witch hands with the crescent moon. There's a bat. A crystal ball. There's a sun. These are like very much the aesthetic of my tattoos that I have on my arms. So I thought that was super cute as well. There's a coffin on here that says yes or no. And then on the waist, there are these cute little ribbons where you tie it up so you can cinch it at the waist has a flare look to it. So it's not just like a straight edged skirt. It kind of flares out a bit. This is really cute. It's very thin. Baby is thin. It doesn't look like you can see through it though. So that's good. Just wear some spandex and a pair of tights underneath, which is usually what I wear with my skirts anyway. I rarely ever go full commando under a skirt. Like that's just, that's just, look, I like to break some rules every now and then, but that's just a little too risky for me because if the vagine can be out when I bend over, honey, the Lord is looking down on me. It needs to be covered. It's actually so Cute! I love it! It definitely is short, just how I imagined it would be. My butt is really gonna be up! My butt will be sneaking out. That <laughs> it's so cute though. I really, really like the high-waisted feature of it, and I love these little ribbons. I love the pattern on it, and also the material actually is really cute. I was worried that the material felt a little bit kind of cheap, and I wouldn't really like it, but it's actually really soft to the touch, and it feels good on my skin. Overall, I really like the skirt. I just might I need to get some more of these to be honest just different patterns let's go on to the next item i'm so excited see this is already making me even more in the spirit of halloween than i was before that's why i love this type of thing yay my hat my witch hat has come my first witch hat i've been initiated into the coven finally guys i've wanted a witch hat for a very long time since I was a kid, I always really liked the look of witch hats. And I'm not talking like Professor Magoogloid. I'm not talking about classic clip art witch hat. I think those are cute and all that too, don't get me wrong. But I wanted something that I can wear out to the pumpkin patch or that I can wear out to the crystal shop or when I'm going shopping, there are no rules. I just wanted a hat that was a bit more muted but still had that classic witchy feel. I found this and I think this is really cute. I hope it looks good on me because if it doesn't, I'm gonna cry. It is very fitted. Holy crap. <laughs> what was that noise my throat just made? It was like that Ariana Grande meme. <laughs> this thing feels like a burlap sack. I don't like the material. It does what it does. I feel like the reason why it's made out of this material is so that it can have like structure. If it wasn't made out of this material, it might not have structure around the brim of the hat. It has the little like swoop, like Mount Crumpet. This is actually really cute. It's very structured even for being in a bag and shipping. Like this thing's pretty good. I feel like if I just steam it and wear it a few times, it's gonna be fine. This is so cute. I love this. I'm so excited. Here is the hat. Look how cute. 
cute it is! Now obviously it has been in a bag and it was shipping, so it's a little bit kind of wonky right now and the structure's not perfect. Also, the kind of weird thing about this material that it's made out of, it's just like clinging to my hair in a very odd way, so I'm gonna have to take a dryer sheet and just <laughs> try to de-static this bitch a bit because it's a little aggressive. I love this little swoop. That swoop is so cute and I, I honestly just think it looks really flattering on me. It just looks right. It fits the way it needs to fit. It's giving what it needs to give. Ugh, this is such a cute hat. I definitely am going to be wearing this hat out and about. It's going to bring a little bit of magic and spookiness to the world. So here's the next item. This is a top. Another long sleeve top. And it has the same moon, sun, cosmos, astrology bitch type aesthetic to it. The sleeves are also sheer. The whole piece is sheer. I'm probably going to wear it with a cami or a bralette. Bell sleeves and they're asymmetrical so there's like a high low type vibe to the sleeves as well. The neckline honey. The neckline is giving. It's got that like boxy neckline to it so it's not a typical scoop so it'll just kind of frame the chest. I think that the square necklines frame chests and are just more flattering than like a typical scoop. They just give everything a little bit more structure. And then it has a little bit of like a form-fitting kind of bodice corset-esque type structure to this bottom half of the waist. So that was really cute. You can never go wrong with a sheer top. Truthfully. Here is the top. It fits really well. It's actually like the perfect size. It's form-fitting enough, but not too tight. This neckline is ideal for me personally because it still has like that mesh see-through vibe, but it has a little bit more coverage so I don't feel like my boobs are just spewing out into the community. I do like a little bit more coverage. I kind of want to feel like I'm like <laughs> contained. Very cloudy and soft. It feels really good to the touch. It's comfy. I like the sleeves. They have that cute witchy feel to them. Kiss my hand, you peasant. I like that it is cropped so that if I wanted to wear it with a high-waisted skirt or a high-waisted pair of pants, it would have a little bit of the midriff, but not too much. Also, if I wanted to wear this over a dress, I could just throw it over the dress and it wouldn't completely just like swallow my figure. <laughs> you can still see that I have a little bit of a figure, which is nice and flattering, so I like this one. All right, next I will go ahead and just show you guys what has been making the little jingle jangle noises. I to get a pair of Halloween earrings. I was looking all over the website for pumpkin earrings. I also have been to Spirit Halloween more than once and every time I've went, I was on the hunt for a good pair of just like not super off the rails type earrings and also not anything that's just too subtle. It doesn't make any sense to even fucking wear it on your body. I just wanted a good pair of Halloween pumpkin earrings. Sometimes I like a little simple, cute accessory. I don't always wanna wear really long, foot-long earrings off my ears. So I found these super cute little pumpkin earrings and they jingle. I don't know if I was aware that they jingle because that's a little aggressive. Me in the line at Starbucks waiting for my macchiato. Just absolute shaking from caffeine. <laughs> these are so cute! So it's a little set of drop dangle earrings. On the little pumpkin, it has kind of like a pixelated face. They're a pretty nice orange color as well. It's not like too bright of an orange. It's also not too muted. They're on a golden hoop. Oh my gosh, that's really loud. The next thing that we got is another sweater. I'm really excited about this sweater. Shein's Halloween collection this year just really hit exactly the kind of items of clothing I've been looking for. The fit, the cut, the colors, the aesthetic is just actually really sickening and I love it. So here was one of their new sweaters released this year as well. Look at it! How cute is that? It's this cute black knitted sweater and it's got a crescent moon on the middle of the sweater distressing all throughout the knit. So it looks like there's rips and tears. It just looks like you've been running around trying to hide from Freddy Krueger. You're in the haunted amusement park. There's even those like rips and distressing on the back of the sweater. This is so cute. I purposely got the sweaters in sizes where I wanted them to be looser on me because in winter, baby, I want to be bundled up the house. Like I want two shirts on, I want like a cloak on. I want to look like a witch running through the forest, but I'm warm and I'm secured and I'm preserved. This, I'm really excited. I just slashed myself in the face with these. Oh 
my gosh, I just saw the tag. Aesthetic on lock. It looks like we have another coupon on here. This says 10% off for next app purchase. So you guys, if you have the Romly app, you can use code APPRW10 for 10% off your next in-app purchase. I'm also going to drop that discount code in my description box below so that if you have the Romwe app and you want 10% off your next order and you're running out of coupons, girly, I got you. This is super cute. I love this. Another cute like pumpkin patch, scary haunted maze sweater. This is probably more so like something I would wear to a scare house type date for Halloween or when you're carving your pumpkins, things like that. All right, so here's this sweater. It fits really well and the knit is actually really good quality. It's not super itchy or anything like that. It's also not like the softest knit I've ever felt in my life. It doesn't feel like you're like laying in a cloud or anything. You can definitely feel that there's material on your skin, but it's not itchy which is good. I really like the little crescent moon detail on it. And also I like that it has some breathability because of all of the distressing throughout like the sleeves and the actual body of the sweater. It's pretty breathable. Right now I'm just wearing like a strapless bra, but if I was wearing like a bralette or a cami under this and I was just going out, there'd be some breathability in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? The one thing I will say about this particular sweater is I'm not too crazy about the actual fit of it. I sized up because I wanted it to be baggy. I actually got this in a large. I wanted the sleeves to be bigger and looser. I wanted the actual body to kind of fall off the shoulder a bit. And right now it just fits like how a regular medium would fit on me. I would say if you're looking for more of like an oversized look, probably go two sizes up. There's still some room in the sleeves. You can see like I don't completely fill it out and it fits comfy. I like this sweater. The next item is a beauty product. I am actually about to put you guys on right now, truthfully. So I as many of you probably already know, Shein does have their own line of cosmetics and beauty products. She Glam. I'm very picky about highlights. I just like a certain color on my skin tone and I like it to have a certain type of like a luminosity to it. I actually tried out She Glam's multi-chrome highlighter and I was scent. I'm obsessed with the packaging. I'm obsessed with the actual formula itself. The color is like just blinding and it looks so beautiful under the lights. I think it looks great on my skin tone. So again, this is the Chromazone Multi Chrome Highlighter. I get it in the color Lucid. I'm gonna try to open this up. <laughs> Bad day for me to have foot long nails. I need in you. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna get into this. I'm gonna have to rip the box. I'm just gonna have to absolutely rip this into oblivion. I don't have time, sis. I'm real life not gonna tell you how long I just struggled to open this box up. But anyway, as I was saying, look at how beautiful this is. It is so pretty. You can't really tell very easily on camera, but it has this really pretty purple pink chrome shimmer to it. And when you put it on your skin, it just, it lights this shit up. You look like a disco ball. So yeah, ever since I used this the first time, I'm just gonna keep re-upping on this. The best highlighter I have found to date. I just really like it. It's really affordable. It's super cute. And it just fits with a lot of different vibes and different looks in my opinion. So that has become a staple in my makeup collection. The last item of this Halloween spooky Shein haul. I think this might be single-handedly the cutest dress I have ever owned in my life. Look at it! So it's this plaid tartan dress. It has little spaghetti straps, lace frill all along the neckline. It has ribbon lace up and grommets in the middle so you can cinch your waist. It has this cute goth alternative baby doll look to it. And I just love this whole ribbon piece. Lace all around the bottom trim of the skirt. I mean, look at how cute that is. The dress itself is structured to where it kind of like flares out at the bottom. And then in the back, there is a little silver zipper. This dress is giving monster high goth brat doll crossover. Like if they had a love child, this is the type of dress that that doll would be wearing. I gasped, I was shook. I shit, I shat. I conquered. I cannot wait to wear this dress. I think this is so cute. If you threw a freaking pair of tights on, Doc Martin boots and like a denim jacket over this, or even just a long sleeve underneath to layer, 
I already know how I want to style this. I am going to wear the dress. I'm going to throw some of my tights on, probably those spiderweb tights, my spiked Jadon Doc Martin boots, my platforms, a really big oversized black denim jacket. It's kind of got that like skater girl, Avril Lavigne aesthetic as well. Holy fucking shit. This has got to be the cutest thing I have ever ever bought from Shein. So just the top of the dress is so cute, like beyond belief. I didn't even tighten it up all the way. Honestly, like the material is stretchy so it doesn't feel like it's restricting me from breathing. Just enough of a cinch in the waist to give a little bit of like a flattering figure to it. The perfect length. It's not too long. It's not too short. Kind of looks like I have a petticoat on under it, which I do not. And I digress. I'm not even kidding. This is probably Probably the cutest item of clothing that I own. This is so gosh darn frickety fracking cute. My life has been changed. Period. Periodic table of elements. 10 out of 10. Five gold stars. I love it. I love it. I believe that is everything that I got in this haul. So that is everything that I got in this Shein haul. How are you guys feeling about Miss Halloween 2022 Shein collection? Do you love it? I do. I scrolled on the website for, I'm telling you, probably hours, looking at all of the new Halloween collection. I wish I could have gotten tons, tons more. I had to practice a little restraint. I'm responsible and I'm saving and I'm investing. I reeled it in a bit. I allowed myself to get a good amount of things, but not everything that I wanted. Thank you guys all for watching watching. If you liked this haul, be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel if you like beauty and lifestyle content. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!